Good afternoon, everybody out there in Periscope land. My name is John Mario Sevilla, I'm the director of the 92nd Street Y Harkness Dance Center. Welcome to Buttonweiser Hall, the historic site of modern dance and community and artistry here at 92Y on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. I hope it's just glad to see you from wherever you are. Uh, today we're excited to share with you uh, an artist uh, who comes from a company called Palabolus. Uh, Palabolus will be performing next week here at the 92nd Street Y as part of the Harkness Dance Festival. Just a little bit of background about the 92nd Street Y, Harkness Dance Center. We are a school as well as a performance space serving thousands of people in all kinds of dance from little children to seniors with all kinds of genres. And we also have three performance series. Um, the performance series that Erica um, Jimbo will be performing at is called the Harkness Dance Festival. Uh, at this time, I'd like to let you know that we're going to be showing a dance and talk about the dance afterwards. So as you're watching, if you have a question, please hang on to it because at the end of uh, the session, we're going to ask you to ask Jimbo questions. So at this time, I'd like to introduce you to a veteran dancer from Palabolus. Her name is Erica Jimbo. We call her Jimbo. Hi. I'm Jimbo, and um, I'm happy to be here today. So excited. This space is like one of my favorite places to rehearse in, actually. Um, but uh, the solo piece that I'm going to be doing is called Pseudopodia. Um, it was created by Jonathan Wolkin, who's one of the founding artistic direct co artistic directors uh, of the company. And it was created, I believe, in 1974. <laughs> and um, he, uh, he, he performs it to. Um, a musical score that he created himself, and it's him and Moses Pendleton, another director, um, drumming on the drums. And um, it has like this a little bit of like an outer, uh, out of the world, out of this world feel. Um, it's done with a bunch of red lights on stage, and he's wearing a full bodysuit, uh, spandex bodysuit, uh, which is also red. Um, and it, uh, he explored a lot of different ways of rolling and maneuvering on the floor, um, and hence pseudopodia, which I think is the name of a, a unicellular organism. <laughs> Basically a single-celled organism that um, kind of has these temporary protrusions to pr propel itself, sort of like an amoeba across the space. And so, um, has a, a little bit of that kind of feel to it. Um, and and then it's an image that I like to play with a lot is like a tumbleweed rolling and endlessly and different things sticking out of it and things collecting onto it to make it different shapes and sizes. So yeah, that's a little bit about that piece. Um, it's been performed by both men and women, obviously. And it's one of the oldest pieces in our repertory. Oh, one of the, uh, interesting, you mentioned Jonathan Wolkin. I know Jonathan Wolkin was a college student along with the, the other three artistic directors of Palabolas at Dartmouth, um, where they started to learn dance and started to create dances. And all of them came from liberal arts backgrounds or science yeah, backgrounds, Yeah, right? science, liberal arts. Uh, some of them were theater majors, so right. it's all different backgrounds. It wasn't necessarily dance, which is great. Yeah. Um, and so he brought his, uh, he, his father was a, a scientist, right? Yeah. So he worked in the lab, and, and it's a lot of uh, science in, yeah. in nature. In the <laughs> okay, yeah. so, uh, cool. So I think, are you ready to start? Yes! Okay, yeah. cool. Are you ready? Do you want me to start the... Um... Um, no, it's okay, because okay. there's a little bit in the beginning where I'm, just, I'm hiding in the wings until I start rolling. Okay, cool. We're getting so a lot of hearts now. People are ready for the dance. Are they ready? Okay, yes. good. Okay, she's turning on the music. There's a little musical introduction, so you might see some blank space. Yeah, so Palabolus. Thanks, John.
Thank you, everybody. That was wonderful. Right, thanks, A lot of hearts. People enjoyed it. So, um, while you catch your breath, let me just say a few things. Um, first of all, the Arcus Dance Center has been around since 1935, making it the home of modern dance, one of the oldest dance centers in the United States that's still in one of its original spots. Uh, the a viewer said applause, applause. Another one said yay, very yay, nice. Yay, terrific, awesome. Um, and the festival started two weeks ago with Catherine Posen um, with the Meredith Monk. Last week we had the Jose Limon Dance Company. This weekend it's Keely Garfield, Pal. Next week it's Palabas. And in three weeks we have Tina Kralfas Dancers. So that's the Harkness Dance Festival, which is named in honor of Theodore uh, Bart Wink, who was the director of the Harkness Foundation, one of the largest supporters of dance, both here in New York as well as in, in the um, country. Twitter user Keely Keenak said, Go Jimbo. I don't know if you know her. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> And so if any of our viewers out there have any questions about dance or this dance or the Palabalus Dance Company, feel free to let us know and we will answer them. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any questions? Not yet. <laughs> so if nobody has any questions, oh, we can... Oh, a question coming. Oh, here's a question. Could you please describe the process by which you learn the solo and what are you still working on? There is a lot <laughs> um, that I'm still working on. Um, I learned this solo, obviously not from Jonathan. I wasn't able to learn from him directly, um, but I, um, I learned it from Jun Kudibayashi, who was the dance captain at the time and who uh, learned from Jonathan. He spent about 10 years perfecting that solo. <laughs> or yeah, I think it was something close to like seven to 10 years um, performing that piece over and over and over again. And he truly made it his own, um, so it was an honor to learn from him. Um, and I also learned from Renee Jaworski, um, who was the associate artistic director at the time. And she's still with the company as an art, uh, I think co-artistic director, co-assistant artistic director. I can't keep track of all the titles, but she's still there. <laughs> um, and um, so it was nice to have, like, to learn basically the choreography and all the techniques from Jun Kuribayashi, and um, then have a female come in to add her perspective. And obviously she did the solo so differently. Every generation that's learned it has done it quite differently. Um, and I think that's what was so exciting about learning that solo. Um, Here's another question. Yeah. Somebody asks, how does the solo fit into the group piece? Um, the solo, well, this is a solo in itself, so it's, uh, when Palabas performs, they usually perform evening of different repertories. So there's like group pieces, there's solos, there's duets, and this is, would be one of the solos that would probably either open the show or be somewhere in between. Um, it's never usually the closer, but they, because they like to build things up. So, yeah. Another uh, viewer asked, he said that the dance looked very intense and wondered if you work out a lot to be able to pull off moves like that. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> you didn't show them your muscles. Show them how much you got your tail. <laughs> there, you, um, there you go. To be quite honest, this is, a, this is a solo that wins me a lot. And it, because of all the rolling, I was telling John Mario the other day, I was like, I'm so nauseated. I can't keep my eyes straight. Um, Plus because, you're upside down a lot. Yeah, and, and you have to learn how to breathe in it. Um, so if you do it right, you get pretty dizzy. Uh, <laughs> because you want to make sure that you hit the highs and the lows, meaning like the, um, not necessarily the levels, but the intensity. Um, so you don't want it to sort of be monotone. You know? <laughs> when oh, you here, play something, it has a tendency to do that. Here's a very interesting question. They ask, do you need to adapt your female physicalness to the male's physicality. Yes, I mean you do. Every person is different, so you, not even like women and men, but every person is different. So we're all going to do it slightly different and you really have to like drill the, um, the piece so that you find where you want to breathe, how you want to do moves. Some of the moves do change according to different people. People do things to, um, There's like a move that can demonstrate that I have neck issues. So I can't stay in it very long. It's neck stand, this one. Um, 
There are times where I'll move straight through it because my neck hurts. <laughs> but I still try to do it with integrity and try to find what makes sense in that moment. Um, there's people who hold it and do a really dramatic pull of the legs, tight into the ball, and then explode out of it. So everybody does it a little differently, but that's just one example. Um, Jun does a really crazy pass when he does a, he, he has a lot of height when he jumps, so it's really nice to see that kind of like men athleticism. Um, and there are women who, who have done it who can jump really high too, so I try to like incorporate that and also like the, the fluidity that I see in a lot of the women who have done it too. Okay, great. Thanks for answering those questions. If there are no more questions, I think, John, do you have something you would like to say before we sign off? No. Uh, okay. I, well, I just thought that she brought a lot of um, fluidity and softness to the moves, in addition to the physical athleticism, which you definitely do. <laughs> Thank you. And I was wondering, actually, how, as you're doing, how you breathe, because you're constantly rolling and rolling over your, 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 you know, your core. And like, yeah. Where do you breathe in that moment? But it was interesting. I try to focus on the exhale and exhale, and then like on the longer moves, really take up the deep inhale. Good. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks, Jimbo. Uh, really great that you're here, and Palabas will be here next week. And please join us uh, at the Ninth Circus Troy for dance, as well as all of our wonderful activities here. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.